Yeah, hello. Let us analyze the roles and responsibilities of a project manager. As a project manager, one is accountable for the success of the project. And the success of the project is defined as the ability to complete the project within the agreed upon time, cost and scope. We say that a project is successful if it is completed within the agreed upon time, cost and scope. And the project manager is accountable for this achievement. If a project fails, it is the project manager who is, who is, uh, who is accountable for it. So the success and the failure of the project uh, is the key responsibility, the, at least the success of the project is the key responsibility of the project manager. And this very fact itself gives authority to the project manager. So let us uh, go one level deep into uh, the, the roles and the responsibilities of the project manager. So when we get into the responsibilities part, you already discussed the project manager is accountable for completing the project within the agreed upon time, cost and scope. Then the project manager is supposed to meet the task needs that means the task must be staffed and must be completed and if there are impediments the project manager is supposed to uh, solve it and as a project manager one must take care of the team needs then the individual needs like the goal setting career planning appraisals all those things comes under the responsibility of the project manager and the project manager is the link between the the organization strategy and the team. As we, in one of the earlier videos we discussed, uh, organizations perform project to meet their strategic uh, business objectives or the business goals. So that way the project manager becomes uh, the link between the organization strategy and the team. So it is a critical role. Let us see the, the competencies required by the project manager. The project manager is supposed to know, uh, supposed to have the knowledge about project management. Many project managers think that checking the email and following up the emails uh, is project management. That is just project coordination. As a project manager, one must have the knowledge about uh, the project management or good practices, at least like what is a charter, what is a project plan, what is a work breakdown structure, uh, what is the critical path, what is the earn value, and what are the key forecasts we make. And typically, uh, the project management body of knowledge is a wealth of knowledge for the project manager. So one must know the project management good practices uh, before dwelling into project management. Then the project manager should have the capability to perform. One may have all the knowledge, but if he doesn't have the conviction and the confidence, then there is a problem. Uh, and then uh, the project manager must be very good, uh, you know, should have very good interpersonal skills uh, to ensure that the team progresses. Uh, and as a project manager, one should know how to conduct oneself uh, so that uh, he can be a role model for, for others. So that is what is meant by uh, the personal uh, competencies of a project manager. So one must conduct very professional in front of the team. So let us look at the interpersonal skills that is required by a project manager. So one must have the, the leadership skills. That means okay, one, must, one must really convinced about uh, the project charter, the project vision must be inspired so that you can go back and inspire others as well. Um, so then, okay, you should have the team building knowledge. Uh, you should have excellent skills to uh, motivate people 
At least one should know how not to demotivate people. Excellent communication skills because uh, one says that in the industry saying, there is industry saying like 90% uh, of the project manager's time goes into communication. Uh, I fully agree with this because initially I thought this is a highly exaggerated number. Uh, and now I, 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 I agree with it because as a project manager, we the prime chunk of our time goes into communication. At least we are doing goal setting, performance appraisals, interviews, negotiation with the supplier, sometimes negotiation with the customer, issue resolution, uh, checking emails, writing emails, uh, minutes of the meeting, agenda for meetings, tracking the schedule and communicating the, the actual progress, actual progress versus plan. So everything for, and dealing with the stakeholders, so everything calls for communication. So it is very rightfully said that 90% of the project manager's time goes into communication. So one must have those very good communication skills to become an effective project manager. Then one must know how to influence people. Excellent decision making knowledge should be there. And one must be politically and culturally aware of uh, of the project location and the stakeholders. And one must have excellent negotiation skills, uh, trust building skills, conflict management skills and coaching skills. This is a specialist role. Unfortunately, when one becomes a project manager, generally is not professionally trained to become a project manager. Generally what I've seen in the industry is if somebody is technically very good uh, after four or five years experience is made as a project manager and very often is bound to fail uh, because this is a specialist role uh, and everybody cannot play that well and one must be even if you have the, have the staff in you one must be professionally trained uh, uh, on all these responsibilities, competencies and interpersonal skills so that one can be uh, a success story when introduced to real professional project management. Uh, the details of this is provided at the bottom of uh, this video and if you have further questions about uh, these things please post it as a comment and I will be answering them. Thank you very much.